Hi, I have a book called Mice Mischief today, um, which is um, a fun book to easily elevate for, um, for kids to have an idea about um, the number 10 and different ways to add towards that and what that means on a visual way. So um, what I do is as I'm reading the book, I make sure that the child has uh, 10 counters. Um, and uh, they are able to move the counters as we read through the book. So this book is just showing different ways that you can add up to 10. The first one I have as 10 plus 0. So I do add that one in. That one's kind of harder to, to start with. But then we have the mice um, doing work on this side and playing on this side. And we're going to see, uh, sorry, as we go through, how that number can change. So what I do is while we are reading the book, and as we're going through it, um, the, the kiddos are going to move their, their counters as their mice. So here on this one, they're going to have five mice here, five counters, and five mice here. And um, watching as they're moving the mice from, okay, there were six here and four here. Now we're going to move one over. And what does that uh, look like? I've seen even doing this with um, older older kiddos um, or the ones that are a little bit uh, higher. Uh, this can even have a light bulb moment for them. So I do this um, all the way up till we get to the 10 mice play, which is now zero plus 10. Um, so we read that and do the counters at the same time. And um, you can either keep track of it as you go or after. So I typically like to read it and have them play around with it the first time. And then I'll be like, whoa, how many ways uh, could we make 10? How many ways was that? And then go through it again and um, have it written down, which you can have the adult, the teacher writing it down or um, the child writing it down, um, whichever place you're at. If you're doing this for um, younger, younger children, I would write it down um, so that we can kind of get the concept with easing some of the frustration. And then, you know, first grade, second grade, um, they can they can write it down themselves. So uh, we do this. We have all of ours and we can count them up. Oh, it's so cool. There's 11 different ways that we can make 10 with two numbers. At that point, if you're doing preschool or kindergarten with this one, I would stop. If you've got kids that are older or um, have kind of got this down, that's when I really like to play with this one. Of well, what about making uh, using three numbers or four numbers, or can we do it with five numbers? Um, in which this is even lined up perfectly. We can see that there are five to do it with five different. Um, Digits. So we'd have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. That's when you can also do an early introduction to um, basic introduction of multiplication. We have five groups of 2. What is that in multiplication? Well, 5 times 2 equals 10. So um, I do that. We'll write them down. They are moving them around and they're playing with them. Maybe we'll do I want you to find um, three ways that we can, um, do, uh, three ways to do three groups or, or four different ways to make it into three groups to make 10. Um, and then, and then move, can you do that? Can you do that Four groups? Can you, can you not? W at what point do you need to start, you know, sawing these in half and go, oh, I can't. What does that, you can't cut this block in half. What would that look like? What would that mean? When you start talking about, um, you can integrate fractions into that um, or the decimal point. So this one is really cool book because you can go so far with such a simple concept book. It's such a simple book um, in which you can you can stretch that out to all sorts of different levels, um, even within the same group. So you have one group that are at a lot of different levels. You can um, have kids doing their the different things with the same book. I love it. I love it um, that we can, you know, really stretch this one. So um, I hope you enjoy it. It's really simple. It doesn't take a lot. Just need the 10, 
pen counters of some kind. Um, at one point I had little tiny mice uh, and that was you know, super cute. Now I just have blocks. So anything that you have, anything, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't stress out about that um, as long as they're uh, the same, uniformed of some kind um, so that uh, it's, it just kind of takes the edge off of you know, the, uh, the visual stimulation. So that's that. And I hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. I will see you uh, next time for another math video.